This is the stuff that dreams are made of. And the holiday season is a time to dream. To dream about those that we love. To dream about presents. To dream about the future. To look back in reverie on the past. But this morning on People Are Talking, we're going to show you how some of your dreams could come true. How you would look in a designer gown worn by some of your favorite stars. How you would feel wearing hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of jewelry. How sexy and romantic you could be wearing a piece of lingerie worth $8,000. Yes, it's like Wheel of Fortune, isn't it? Ooh, and ah. And you're also gonna see how I will feel painted from head to toe in delicious chocolate. <laughs> By one of the most delicious women in the world, the penthouse pet of the year. <laughs> but first, let me introduce to you one of our area's and our country's most exciting young designers. He has designed gowns for some of your favorite stars, including Debbie Allen, Aretha Franklin, Raquel Welch, Rue McClanahan, Lynn Redgrave, Diana Ross. Several months ago, he sent me a card and a very gracious letter and pictures of some of his designs. We were so taken with them that we couldn't wait to invite him on the show. And this was the perfect show to introduce you to John Haggins. Please welcome him to the show. Good morning. Nice Thank you, you so much. Wonderful to be here. It's wonderful way, to have you. I'm no longer a young designer, I'm middle aged. Uh, but you look, you, nah, you're not middle aged. Oh, I mean, yes, I but you have been around. You've been designing since the 60s. I do know that. That's right. Absolutely. You're, uh, you're younger than Oscar de la Renta? Uh, I'd like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. you, you sent me a card, pictures of your designs. Yes. Why did you do that? Because I wanted to be on the show. I thought that, uh, why not? It's a great show, and I thought, why not be on the show and show the wonderful things that I do? What do you try to achieve with your designs? What is your overriding vision? Uh, to make women look beautiful. I love women. I love the way they look in my clothes, and uh, I do the clothes that really flatter women. You also have a very elegant design. Thank you. You make women look like a million dollars. Well, I, I feel they are a million dollars, and they're worth everything, so they should have the best-looking clothes. <laughs> well, first, one of the lovely models you brought this morning is Janet. That's right. And she is wearing daywear. We're going to be looking at daywear in this segment. Could you tell us a bit about what she's wearing? Well, this is one of those easy dresses that you can go cruising in, or you go shopping, or you can lounge around the house. And it's made out of polyester. These are the kind of clothes that travel. Uh, a lot of people think of polyester as being one of the fibers uh, that double knit suit from the 60s. However, today, uh, they, polyester has a luxurious look like this. I mean, it could be silk, it could be anything. And the colors and the patterns are very nice, too, and I love the way that is. Thank you, Janet. Tied around in the bottom. Next is Marion. Yes, hello, Marion. Doesn't she look Beautiful. stunning? By the way, this is also polyester, and it looks like silk. I want to also add that the stockings are uh, uh, from Leg Looks, and the shoes are from Stuart Weitzman. And um, Marion always looks good. How much does an outfit like this cost? This is about four to five hundred dollars. I'm not sure exactly mm -hmm. how much it is. But still, fair, fairly simple, but also very, very eye-catching and stunning. Here again, you like polka dots, huh? Oh yeah, this is my re resort spring polka dot look. And these are pants, by the way. These are pants that Colleen is wearing. Colleen, can you show the pants? Can you show the exaggerated pants? Now watch, you see the difference? I mean, oh. it's, it's so wonderful. And the jewelry's by Kenneth J. Lane, by the way. I love those earrings, the star earrings. Oh yeah, she's a star. And this is, the, you know, the colors, the red, white, and blue. Uh, You're very patriotic. Yes. Okay, next is Shayla. Is that hot? Woo! 
this the line on this is wonderful the way yes. it angles down in the back if we can take a look at that back there yes now, this by the way i want to add that the glasses are from b robinson and they're by emmanuel kawan another designer mm -hmm. all right now what are we looking at here this is a four ply polyester rayon crepe it's a combination because you can also combine polyester with wool with crepe with lots of things and this for instance is a kind of thing uh, i don't think we're going to show it but however this dress can be turned completely around and worn out for the evening this way you wear it to the office and uh, you're more modest and the other way you turn it around and it's plunged down to the waist so you get a fantastic uh you get a fantastic see what i mean it gives you it reveals so much. Can you imagine that in the front for the evening? Uh, you mean you turn the whole dress around? Absolutely. And throw the coat away. Woo! <laughs> Shayla, thank you very much. <laughs> now, one of the things, I, I guess some people might be surprised to hear that these outfits are made of polyester, and maybe they don't associate polyester with something that is so rich looking and so elegant looking. Well, that's because uh, they haven't seen these fashions before. And, uh, you know, I, I do things in natural fibers also, but this is a particular group of polyester that I'm very proud of. And uh, I see that you like them and the audience likes them. Am they I right? They are gorgeous. The, the cut in the line is fantastic. All right, we're going to take a look at four more pieces of daywear right now. First is Janet, one more time. Oh, this is great. All right, now what are we looking at here? Now, this is a gab, and uh, she's all read it down or who oh, read <laughs> this is gabardine then right. so we're getting on to uh, wool gabardine, now, right? right a natural material how much right. does an outfit like this cost this is about seven seven hundred dollars right okay very very nice padded shoulders right and oh, and it's a great executive look for the office uh, you can certainly wear this to any office or board meeting. You might want to put a little dicky inside so it's not as revealing. I, yeah, I don't know if you'd be able to give me orders in that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> but I would probably do whatever you said, actually, yes. <laughs> Beautiful, Janet. Thank you so much. Next is Marion. In a stunning color combination. Yes, now what are we looking at here? This is uh, linen and poly. It's a combination. And uh, again, these are the kind of things that I think a woman could wear to the office and also wear to cocktails. It'll take you right into the evening. Uh, they're a little extreme in terms of the neckline for the day, but I think you can improvise with a little camisole underneath or something else. You're not getting ready to open that up, please. I, I, I saw your hand on the buttons and I was getting nervous there a little bit. Also, the color is very striking on this against the black skirt. Right, and the different color buttons, yes. which make a big, makes a big difference. Could you wear this in the winter? Yes. Uh, I don't think so. Spring, This is say. really a spring fabric or summer fabric, and uh, I just like the way Marion looks in it. Marion, you thank you so much. Exquisite. And Colleen, again, a striking color combination. My, my, my. Is that hot? Yes. Now, what do you call these colors? Um, hot colors. Hot colors. Cerise on the top with red buttons and the turquoise on the bottom. In fashion, we say turquoise rather than turquoise. Uh, <laughs> Sounds more elegant, certainly. And what is this made from? This is linen and poly also. Okay, and how much would an outfit like this run for spring? They, they run for about seven, 700 in the stores. Okay, it certainly makes quite an impression. It's really eye-catching. And you notice how it curves with the body. It shows the body off. And I think a woman, as you see, these clothes flatter the woman. And every whether she's covered up like this, which she certainly could wear to a board meeting. Uh, I mean, certainly one is not looking at a cleavage there. Shayla. Final. This now this some, this gives the impression of being fairly simple, but the line on it is is so oh. wonderful. The way it tapers down in the back is fantastic. Oh, it's a fishtail, as a matter of fact. Remember the Cadillacs from the fifties? Yes. When they had fishtails. Well, this reminds me of a Cadillac. The Cadillac dress, a little black dress. All right. Now, what is this made from? This is a uh, poly wool. <laughs> a poly wool combination. Yes. Now, why do you use the combination of polyester and wool? What does that do to the fabric? Because it travels well. For instance, if you're going I mean, and you're traveling, better than wool would alone. I think so. Yes. Considering the fact that if you're traveling or people today are very busy and they're running around and they don't have time between the valets and the dry cleaners, this way they can whip it right out of their bag when they're traveling and just go right off and uh, to whatever the occasion. And it is. doesn't wrinkle very much. No. Okay. Shayla, thank you very much. She looks stunning great. out there. We're going to take a look at some very elegant, stunning evening wear. Gowns, we're going to show you some gowns as well that are worn by some of your favorite stars, Farrah Fawcett, Felicia Rashad, 
uh, Debbie, and Allen. Debbie Allen. Debbie Allen. Lynn Redgraves. Take... Lynn Redgraves. I don't know if you have a picture of her, but she's one of the people. Do they do they do they call you up? Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, for instance, Debbie will call and say, "I'm going to the Grammys. I'm going to whatever. I need two dresses." And since I know what she owns already, I say, "Terrific! This is what you're getting, and it's easy as pie." Talk about fantasies. Wouldn't you like to do that?